Hi, good morning. How are you doing? This is Thorn Holder from Dream Development and Design. Coming to you with a special episode. This episode is called Sexy Man. As you can see, there is no clothing on the upper part of my body. Um, this episode, very short. Uh, what I would like to mention is taking control over, over your emotions, you know. Um, I'm going to give you my definition of emotions and feelings, okay? What a feeling is, is when there is discord between the spirit and the action, okay? So if your spirit wants or enjoys a certain thing that you, that's you, that's, it, that's the real you in, in your heart, um, if you are not doing that thing or you're doing the opposite or you're moving away from it, then your, your spirit is going to give you some feedback. And that feedback comes in some bad feeling, okay? Um, there are also good feelings, like hunches, okay? I, like, I'm not driving down there, I'm not going to this place, I'm not taking this flight, blah, blah. These sort of things help you, you know? And once you start being able to trust your feelings, then you will start communicating with infinite intelligence more readily. But you have to spend a lot of time emptying your mind and being quiet so that information and inspiration can actually enter into your mind. So, emotions. Emotions are patterns of reaction, okay? That is to do with feelings. So, for example, when you see yourself getting angry, somebody's telling you things that you don't like, a loved one especially, then you start becoming angry, right? What this anger is, is your feelings telling you, hey, don't buy into what that person is saying. Do not give that person your power to control your emotion, to control your, control your feeling, okay? So what happens is, when you start buying into what that person is saying and attaching yourself to their words, then that's where the emotion arises. And emotions have been around and they have picked up momentum for years, thousands of years. So anger has a very powerful uh, it's a powerful force. Jealousy is a powerful force. Sadness is a powerful force. Those things don't exist within our bodies. They are resonance, not resonance, they are vibrations that are at a certain frequency. And when you allow people to take control of your mind and you lose control of your feelings and, and, and your actions, then those vibrations can now enter into your thoughts, enter into your feeling, you know, into your body where you start saying, this is how I feel, I feel angry. No, you don't feel angry. You are in disagreement with what you are doing or how you're reacting, but the anger is a habitual reaction. The anger is not innate in the human being, okay? So, take control over your emotions, over your feelings. Stop letting external factors dictate how angry you are, how depressed you are, how jealous you are, okay? You are in charge. Classic example. If somebody walks to you and says, hey, you're a loser, does that make you a loser? If somebody walks up to me and says, hey, Thorn, you're a white girl, does that make me a white girl? It does not. Similarly, any thought that someone else has about you and expresses it in some way does not make that thing true. Remind yourself that you are in complete control and that you can take advantage of any situation you want and you can react to any situation you want. You are in charge. You are all powerful. You have in your mind the capability to do anything you want. Just remember, there is no magic. Okay, Magic is just convincing somebody of something. There are some people who have developed the type of chi or prana or energy to be able to manifest things in their hand or to start a fire or to move an object with their mind. You can too. It takes a lot of effort, energy, meditation and time and learning how it works. If you're a Western person and you go up and to regular schools and you learn nothing about it, it's not going to be easy. Don't expect it. You can do it, but remember there's a process to everything. So, eyes on the prize, stop putting shit off. Take control of your emotions, take control of your feelings, and remain happy at all times, despite how your environment works. And remember, we live in this physical body. It's a very dense place, a very dense universe, what we see. There are lighter aspects of it, like air, radio waves and thoughts, spirit, etc. But in the physical world, it's very dense, it's very heavy. 
Okay? So if you want things to happen, you have to generate momentum, generate resonance, vibrate in a certain way by the way you think, and also generate momentum by the actions and your consistency of thought. That gets shit going. Momentum is the main force, like a car. If a car is sitting, can't hurt anybody, you can kick a car. It doesn't do shit. Okay? If a car is going at 90 miles an hour, it slaughter the shit out of you. It's momentum. And momentum comes with, comes with first, the first step, the second step, third step, and after that, you can start building some momentum, some momentum. The beautiful thing about our philosophy of dream development and design is we are aware of this. We know that once we get a habit started in you, that habit is going to continue and snowball, and you can apply the aspects to many, uh, apply this to many aspects of your life. Okay. So remember, keep your eyes on the prize, and stop putting shit off. Zach and Zave, have a good evening.